This installation guide has been created to assist you in installing a Harmar lift. If you have any questions after viewing this video, please contact Harmar's Technical Services Department. The AL030 Power Tote is designed to transport manual folding wheelchairs. Estimated installation time is 45 minutes, but a first-time installation can take significantly longer. To install this lift, you will need the following tools available. Upon arrival, inspect the lift for any signs of damage in shipping. Contact the freight company immediately if any damage is noted. To begin lift installation, position the lift, still in the box, behind the vehicle. Be sure to align the hitch post with the vehicle's hitch. Make two cuts on the back of the box and remove the cardboard insert. This step will allow you to install the lift without ever having to manually lift it. Locate the hitch adapter inside the box. Please note, this video shows a Class 2 hitch adapter with a single threaded hole. Your hitch adapter may vary depending on the application. Remove the bolt from the hitch adapter and slide the adapter into the vehicle's hitch receiver. The hitch adapter may be positioned pointing up or down depending on the distance from the bottom of the hitch receiver to the ground. For proper lift operation, it is important to ensure that the vehicle hitch is level to the ground. Tighten bolt and add locking nut to secure. Locate the hitch post from inside the box. Remove the mounting bolt on the lift and place the hitch post. Slide the bolt back in place and tighten. Attach the hitch post to the lift with the beveled area pointing down, away from the lift. Do not over tighten the bolt. This is a pivot point. Connect the power cord from the lift to the vehicle wiring harness. The lift is equipped with a second connector that is used to power the integrated license plate light. Attach it to the towing package connector that was installed as part of the hitch installation. If the towing package connector was not installed, it will be necessary to run a separate wire directly from the vehicle's license plate lights to the lift using a quick disconnect. Raise the lift to the upright position by grasping the outer tube and align with the hitch adapter. Make sure never to lift from the plastic motor box cover. This may cause damage to your lift. Insert the key and turn it to the on position. Power the lift down. This will raise the hitch post into the hitch adapter. Continue until the bolt holes are aligned. Insert two bolts and tighten. Raise the lift and remove the box. Lower the platform to the ground. Raise the hold down arm. This hold down arm must be adjusted to secure the wheelchair to the lift. Guide the wheelchair onto the platform so that the back wheels rest in the large wheel cradle. Power the lift up to its highest position. When raising the lift, it is important to continue operation until it is fully raised. In this position, you will hear a ratcheting sound from the motor box. This is a clutch. This sound is normal and should be heard. Failure to raise the lift completely can cause damage to the lift. Lower the chair approximately 2 inches. Loosen and lower the hold down arm assembly until the hold down arm presses firmly against the wheelchair armrest. Retighten all bolts securely. Raise the lift again until you hear the ratcheting sound. Ensure that the hold down arm is firmly pressed against the armrest in this position and that the wheelchair is held securely to the lift. The chair is now ready for transport. To remove the chair, power the lift down until the platform touches the ground. Guide the chair back off of the lift. Fold the hold down arm completely. Raise the lift, stopping to manually fold the platform. 
Continue raising the platform until the pin engages the locking device. Remove the license plate from the vehicle and place it onto the integrated license plate holder. Installation of the AL030 power tote is now complete.